Hey guys, welcome back to Kitbox Aircraft. We've been teasing recently about pre-made wire harnesses and panels specifically made for the Kitbox uh, 5 through 7 aircraft at this time. They're made for the 912IS and 915IS. We find we're kind of an exciting day today for us. We've got a uh, first article that has uh, shown up on our doorstep. It is a complete panel, wire lengths, connectors for the Kitbox. It's uh, specifically designed to go in our fuselage. There are other vendors out there that will make wire harnesses and panels, um, but you're going to have to explain to them what lengths you need. It comes with more than just the panel. If you come a little closer to the panel here, it will be pre-populated. The trays will be mounted for the radio, trays for the GEA24. The, the, it's strictly Garmin, I should emphasize. It is a Garmin setup and panel. It also comes with a lot of our mounting brackets. So we have our headset brackets that are pre-made to go in the cockpit, obviously a left and a right. There's an antenna plate mounted bracket, magnetometer bracket that goes out in the wing, the main tray that mounts in the fuselage with the remote transponder and part of the ADSB components and uh, safety trim. It also comes with the IBBS uh, TCW backup uh, system as well. We also have some other features that are going to be options as far as the ACK 406 ELTs that will be part of it as well. It's actually pre-wired for the GPS signal for that. Um, again, it is specifically for the 912 IS and 915 IS engines. And you say, why specifically those engines? Well, the, the IS has what they call HIT connectors, which are pre-wired here. So this is actually the other side of this connector comes off the engine. So it's all ready to plug and play and all your signals are there. Very complete, has a fuse block with it, circuit breakers. Um, pretty handsome little system. It's going to be, as you see later, we have some options for dual displays for autopilot. Um, again, complete plug and play type system. It's pre-wired for the lights. So it actually, the wires go out the wings for your nav strobe lights, your landing lights. There's actually a light that goes all the way back to the um, tail for the tail strobe light. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do an install on this today and see how long it takes us. We estimate it's probably a couple hours and we'll have it in a basic form of install and then it'll be finalizing it from there. As you can see, we've hung the panel here from the hooks. The harness is kind of laid out to where we can start feeding it down the fuselage into the fuselage where it needs to be. We'll install some wire racks into the bottom of the fuselage here to run the wire trays in. They also come with the uh, 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 pre-made panel and harness. And uh, without any further ado, let's get started on that. We'll be back shortly. Hey guys, this is a pretty handy little part of this whole panel package. And it's the transponder mounting plate. It's for the remote transponder, it goes in the back of the fuselage. It's got rib nuts in it for mounting and it all clamps to mount it to the fuselage so it's pretty much set up. It'll come with that tray already uh, mounted for the transponder and uh, there's all the screws are already set here. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to take these screws out. We're going to put in the GPS 20 and the safety trim. Guys, here we are about three hours into the project right now. When we looked at the panel and the wire harness all bundled up and everything else, while that seemed daunting at first, remember this is the first panel that was in the first article that we've done and uh, it's working out really well. It's a lot less daunting than the looking at the schematics and thinking about all the wire you need to buy, solder connectors and uh, ring connectors and blah, 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 blah. So it's really not that difficult once you dig into it. Uh, they're, they're nicely labeled so you have, you know, which ones you want to run first. But looking very quick at the harness, if you if you glance back, your engine your engine stuff is right up here in front. So you have your main power, your X3 connector that goes to the fuse box, the hit connectors that go out to the engine, to the uh, uh, connectors for the engine for the CAN bus, a uh, fuel pressure sensor wires that are in place as well, all the way back into connectors for the IBBS, the fuse block, into the headset jacks, which are pre-wired with a power and a ground back there for an accessory outlet if a person choose to use an accessory outlet. And then of course all the wing wiring that would go out through the uh, rear spar of the wing and go out to your landing lights, your nav strobe lights. Inside the fuselage we've run the wires down the wire trays and that's all the way tie wrapped all the way back now um, into the uh, 
tail section of the airplane. So that's all done. We just need to do a final. We just talked about the, the harness and remember we put in the mounting tray in the back for the transponder, the GEA 35 antenna brackets, the trays and all that are already done in the, in the airplane for the radio. So we're going to start populating the panel and finaling the, the install. So if we look down here, we have our displays. You've got the radio, the IBBS uh, battery backup system, the AHARS display unit. The AHARS mounts right on the back of the display. Um, the, the autopilot control head, the transponder, and just we'll have this stuff in probably in, as I said, be done in the next couple hours, have things finaled up. Hopefully we'll have a video of everything powered up for you to see. Here we are guys, it's the moment of truth. Uh, we've, we're about six hours into the project. The wires are completely run through the fuselage. They're all tied up. Um, everything's hooked up. We're ready to power the system up. Wanted to have you along for that. It's a first power run. We've got the headset jacks put in. Servos are put in for the autopilot. Everything's all ready to go. About to throw power to the system. Come on along. Looks like we have liftoff. We've got the Garmin logo up here. The stock flight systems for the, the EMU. That's a novelty in this particular case, not the normal, but will be an option down the road. Won't be a display, it'll be on a remote um, uh, box in the back. Well, the Garmin came up, that all looks good. I'm gonna come over here to our avionics and turn that on. Com radio came up, we're in good shape there. Now we need to see if we're communicating with the, uh, uh, the 915 IS that's installed in this airplane. So we're going to come over here and turn on our lanes. We'll put on lane A and lane B. We have two LED lights over here. We're going to go to momentary start power. When we do so, it should light up the lanes, turn them off, and we should get full information on the, on the engine display. Looks like everything's working as advertised. That's a big plus. We don't have a whole bunch of troubleshooting to talk about or do. It's going to be a simple job and you can have a complete panel installed done in roughly about a day. Uh, give us a call if you have any questions. We're going to have an order form coming out shortly for the uh, options that we do have and look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care.